yes welcome to digital online classes for engineering mset i am dr sayed dulhai from nampali girls college hyderabad i am thankful to the commissioner sir sajad umeshri sahab and the staff of commissioner of indian education who have provided this coaching facility for the benefit of our students so this is very beneficial for our students and they may be get more good ranks if they follow the coaching so in the previous class i have dealt with limits now today i will start differentiation okay so i don't want to define the formulas or revise the formulas all of you know the formulas you have already perfect in the formulas directly i will start the problems at any instant any shortcut formula is required i will give along with the question and then solve that problem okay now write down a first question d by dx into e power of log root of 1 plus tan square x so what is asking d by dx of e power of log root of 1 plus tan square x the options are tan x sec x sec square x and the fourth option is sec x tan x okay equal to we know that what is this e by dx of e power of log tan square x so e power of you know that e power of log x is equal to x right therefore based on this solution d by dx of e power of log something is root of 1 plus tan square x okay e power of log something is 1 plus e power of log something is log of e power of something e power of log 1 plus tan square x e power of log x is x 1 plus tan square x is equal to d by dx of root of 1 plus tan square x is sec square x so d by dx of sec x square root plus d by dx of sec x so what is d by dx of sec x that is sec x into tan x therefore what is my answer so sec x tan x that is fourth option is it clear now come to the next question second question if y is equal to log of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x whole power of 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into tan inverse x then dy by dx is equal to what is the question if y is equal to log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x whole power of 4 minus 1 by 2 tan inverse x you have to find the value of dy by dx the options are x by 1 minus x square second option b x square by 1 minus x power of 4 third one x by 1 plus x power of 4 fourth one that is x by 1 minus x power of 4. okay now y is equal to log of 1 plus x by 1 minus x so i can write as a power of log a power of m is equal to log a that is 
1 by 4 log of 1 plus x whole divided by 1 minus x. Okay, minus 1 by 2 tan inverse x. We ask the value of dy by dx. So, differentiating with respect to x dy by dx is equal to. So, this is 1 by 4 as it is. Log of something is 1 by that thing. It is 1 by 1 plus x by 1 minus 6 into derivative of this part. That is 1 plus x by 1 minus 6. So, there is a formula that is shortcut formula. If I want to find the value of, if I want to find the value of this one, that is in the form of ax plus b by cx plus d. Okay. So, you remember this shortcut formula d by dx of d by dx of ax plus b divided by cx plus d. Okay. ax plus b by cx plus d is equal to, I don't want to use here quotient rule that is u by b directly I want to use rule, write the answer. The answer is ad minus bc by cx plus d whole square. Okay. So, based on this result, so ax plus b by cx plus d, so ad ax plus b by cx plus d, ad minus bc minus or minus plus it is 2 by ax plus b whole square, that is cx plus b whole square, that is 1 minus 6 whole square, minus 1 by 2 as it is, derivative of tan inverse x is nothing but derivative of tan inverse is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square. Is it clear? What I have done? 1 by 4 as it is, log or something 1 by 8. Derivative of this is in the form of ax plus b by cx plus b. The answer is ad minus bc 1 into 1, 1 minus 2 minus plus minus 1 plus 1 plus 2 by 1 minus x plus 1 square minus 1 by 2 as it is. Derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x square is equal to 1 by 4 as it is. This will be inverted and goes to the numerator. It will become 1 minus x by 1 plus 6 into this 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 by 1 minus x whole square minus 1 by 2, 1 by 1 plus x square. Now you see that this 1 minus x, 1 minus x power cancel. So which gives me 1 minus x into 1 plus x is 1 minus x whole square, 1 minus x square, a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. What is this? 1 plus x square. So, 1 by 4, that is 2 1 2 2 zero, that is 1 by 2 into 1 by 1 minus x square minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 1 plus x square. Right? If I take out 1 by 2 common, what is inside? 1 minus x square into 1 minus x square. That is in the form of a minus b to a plus b, a square minus b square, 1 plus x square minus 1 minus 2 to minus plus x square by 1 minus x power of 4. Is it clear? So 1 by 2 as it is, minus 1 plus 1 cancel, x square a plus x square is nothing but 2 x square by 1 minus x power of 4, 2 to cancel therefore which gives me x square by 1 minus x to the power of 4. Right? So, this is my answer. So, option number 2. So, x square by 1 minus x4. Okay. Now, come to the next slide. Next question. d by dx of 3x minus 5 divided by 2x plus 3. The options are
these are the options. First is nineteen by two x plus three whole square. Second is fourteen by two x plus three whole square. Nineteen by two x plus three whole square minus one by two x plus three whole square. Okay. Now write down the solution. D by D X of three x minus five by 2x plus 3. As I told you in the previous question, if the question is of the form of ax plus b by cx plus d, the answer is ad minus bc by ad minus bc by cx plus d whole square. Therefore, using that formula, 3 into 3 9 minus bc by 2 to minus 10 become plus 2 by ax plus b whole square. That is 2x plus 3 whole square. So 10 plus 9 is equal to 19 by 2x plus 3 whole square. So 19 by 2x plus 3 whole square is my correct answer. So my option is first one. Is it clear? See, so if you give the shortcut which is a second, you can write the answer. Okay. Y is equal to x plus root of x square minus h square whole power of then dy by dx is equal to the options are I write down the options the first option is n y second option is n into root of x square minus a square, fourth is, third is n by root of x square minus a square and fourth one is n y by root of x square minus a square. Okay. Now come to the solution. y is equal to x plus root of x square minus a square whole power of two x, right? So, given y is equal to x plus root of x square minus a square whole power of n. If I apply law on both sides, what happen? Apply log on both sides. So, log y is equal to log of x plus root of x square minus x square whole power of n. Now differentiating with respect to x, derivative of log by 1 by into dy by dx is equal to log of something 1 by that thing, that is 1 by x plus root of x square minus x square whole power of n into log of something 1 by that thing. So into 1 by right log of x plus root x square minus x square root power of n into derivative of x is 1 plus root of something is again 1 by 2 root that thing x square minus a square into derivative of this x square is 2x log y is equal to log of x power of n. So, this is nothing but n log x, n log x, n as it is, n will come here. I have not written one step. So, n here log of x plus root x square minus 1. So, n as it is, log of something is 1 by h, that is x plus root x square minus 1 into derivative of x is 1. Derivative of root of something is 1 by 2 root that thing into derivative of x square is 2x, derivative of a square is 0. 
So this 2x, 2x cancel. So in here is as it is by x plus root of x square minus a square whole power of minus as it is into if I take the LC, we have nothing but x square minus a square plus x x square minus x x square minus a square plus x divided by divided by root of x square minus a square. So you may note down here if I apply y is equal to log of something log y means log y is equal to log of this. So this become n log of this. I will write the distance is equal to n n log of x plus x square minus a square. Okay. So n as it is log of something 1 by dot 3. Here n is not there. Is it clear? N is not there. So x plus root log of something is 1 by dot 3 into derivative of this thing that is 1 plus root of something 1 by 2 root that thing into derivative of x square is 2 derivative of x square is 0 2 to cancel if I take the LCM it is root of x square minus a square plus x like this here also n should not be there so you see that x plus root x square minus a square x plus root x square minus a square both will be cancelled <coughs> and which gives me this cancel, this cancel. What is this? dy by dx is equal to y is here. So ny divided by root of x square minus a square. So my option is ny by root of x square minus y square ny by root of x square minus y square so this is the fourth option if y is equal to if y is equal to log base 7 log x to the base 7 then dy by dx is equal to the options are the first option is 1 by x log x second one is log e to the base 1 divided by x log x third one is log e to the base 7 whole square divided by x log x and the fourth option is 1 divided by log to the base 7 log e to the base 7 into x into log x Okay, now write down the solution. Given y is equal to log to the base 1 into log x to the base 7. Right? So, by the definition of logarithm, by the definition of logarithm, this can be written as y to the power of 7 to the power of y is equal to log x to the base 7. And this log x to the base 7 can be written as log x by log 7. Okay. Now, differentiating with respect to x, it is the form of a to the power of x that is a to the power of x is a to the power of x into 
डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ एफ आर एक्स इंटू लॉग एफ एट इज लॉग सेवन इंटू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस वन बाई लॉग सेवन एज इट इज इंटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ लॉग एक्स इज नथिंग बट वन बाई एक्स राइट नो This can be written as dy by dx. I am keeping on the left hand side, transforming log seven to the denominator. So this will become log seven into log seven, log seven whole square into this one by x will be as it is into this seven power of y become one by seven power of y. Okay, or this can be written as one by log 7 whole square into 1 by x into this 1 by 7 power of y can be written as 1 by log y 7 power of y just now we have seen that value 7 power of y is nothing but log x by log 7 so this can be written as log x by Log seven. Okay, then you may see that log seven will go to the numerator and cancel with this denominator. So, which is equal to one by log seven whole square into this one by x will remain as it is. Into this log seven will go to the numerator divided by log x. Log seven log seven cancel. So, which gives me Which gives me log one is nothing but x log is in the denominator, right? Log seven to the base c, which can be written as when it comes to the numerator, log e to the base seven, whole divided by x log x. Therefore, what is my answer? Log e to the base seven x log x. So this is my The second option. Okay. So this answer is my correct one. That is log e to the base one x log x. Is it clear? So only the thing is that you have to do with patience. Okay. Now. come to the next question if if hx is equal to e power of e power of x then what is asking hx dash x by hx of x hx dash is equal to x is equal to The first option is h x. Second option is one by h x. Third option is log h x. Fourth option is minus log h x. Okay. Now come to the solution. G one. H x equal to e power of e power of x. Okay. Now, if I apply log on both sides, apply log on both sides. This become log of h x is equal to log of e power of e power of x, which gives me e power of x into log e. Okay. Now, I am differentiating. What is log e? Is nothing but one. That is e power of x into one. So, differentiating with respect to x log of something, one by that thing. Into derivative of this part. That is derivative of x is this. Which is x. Into derivative of e power of x is e power of x only. So, what is e power of x? That is log of 
hx e power of x is equal to log of hx therefore this implies that what i want h dash x by h of x so h dash x by h of x is equal to what is my answer this log of h of x so which option is correct third one so log of h of x is this third option one more question like this so be careful these are very simple question but by seeing you may thought that uh, it is very difficult you can't do so don't skip such type of questions they are very easy no only the thing is that you have to just think about the question and see what he is asking so within seconds you can solve those question easily right now one question on composite function huh? write down a question on question composite function if you f of x is equal to e power of x comma g of x is equal to sin inverse x and h of x is equal to f of g of x so this is composite function then he is asking you value of h dash x by h of x is equal to the options are first option is sin inverse x second option is 1 by root of 1 minus x square third option is 1 by 1 minus x square fourth option is e power of sin inverse x okay now come to the solution what is given fx defined gx defined and he has given defined one more function that is called the composite function so given i start my answer from this composite function h of x is equal to f of f of g of x right so what is f of x f of x equal to e power of x so this is equal to e power of x what is my x g of x right what is g of x you know the but sin inverse x so e power of sin inverse x so it means that my question is reduces to h of x is equal to e power of sin inverse x okay now if i apply log on both sides apply log so this become log of h of x is equal to directly i am writing log e power of sin inverse x will gives me sin inverse x into log e. we know that log e is equal to 1 therefore it is nothing but only sin inverse x now if i differentiate this differentiate this differentiating with respect to x log of something 1 by that thing into derivative of this thing that is fx dash x is equal to derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by root of 1 minus x square so 1 minus x square so what is my answer what is my answer 1 by 1 minus x square so that is second option okay